getting some gamer feel for this video. So one of you guys asked for me to benchmark Dead Space on Linux. Now, I'm not going to actually do any real benchmarking. I'm just going to play the game and we'll see how it goes. And to remind everyone what kind of hardware we're working with here, I have a Ryzen 5800X and 3600 megahertz, uh, or 32 gigabyte kit of 3600 megahertz. Uh, RAM, of course, that's overclocked in the BIOS to 3600 megahertz. And uh, we have the RTX 4090 gigabyte OC version or edition, whatever you want to call it. And an ASRock motherboard, Man, nothing else too really special and as like hardware wise. So with uh, the hardware stuff out of the way, let's get this done. Well, looking forward to it. Which honestly isn't a pain in itself, but it just kind of sucks because everything's set up the way I like it. I haven't touched my setup in a long time, at least operating system wise. And now I've got to basically get everything out of the way just to do, you know, like a maybe hour tops test. And I really don't want to do it, but I'm curious. And that's why I'm doing this. And I'm going to hate every minute of it. Not because of Linux, just because I have to break everything down. Okay, now that we got the case, now we need to go shopping, if you will. We need some storage because I'm not gonna overwrite the operating system, or my current operating system. So I'll just be using a one terabyte SSD to install Pop! OS on. And I'm gonna take this entire thing apart just to get to the NVMe drive. Honestly, I feel like I should just skip ahead to the part where this is done. So that way um, we can just get right to the game, but you know, this is part of the journey, right? It's like man and his machine. It's like one of the quintessential parts of, you know, the whole gaming experience. And since I'm doing all this effort to do this video for one person, presumably one person, then I might as well take y'all through the entire process as punishment for your insolence. Actually, I should move this glass panel so I don't break it. I'm not salty, I swear. I love Linux. I use Linux every day. But I hate this. <laughs> okay, hate's kind of an extreme word. So I was gonna unplug the adapter to the 4090, the Gigabyte 4090, but honestly, uh, it's only rated for like, what, 30 plugins? So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it plugged in and I'll disconnect the other side instead. All right, sweet. Um, where the heck is the M2 drive on this thing? 960 Pro, out of here. Crucial or generic, whatever. One terabyte NVMe storage, you are in. 4090, now the fun part of angling it in there. Okay, done here. Oh wait, we gotta get everything connected and then we are ready to rock and roll, baby. Okay, honestly not that bad. I don't know why I'm complaining. Okay, it doesn't have to look pretty, right? We're just, just doing some simple testing. We'll just get it like set back up, I suppose, but I don't know. Uh, now we gotta download Pop! OS. All right, so I'm using Etcher to create my USB bootable ISO with Pop! OS, like I mentioned earlier. Why am I using Pop! OS? Because it's probably the easiest way to install NVIDIA graphics drivers because the proprietary drivers come with Pop! OS, and I just want to minimize the amount of effort on my part that I need to do. Now, I probably should be using uh, regular Ubuntu long support, but um, I'm just, you know, Pop! OS is fine. It'll get the job done, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it will. Just gotta wait another minute and 30 seconds for this to finish, and then we will boot up on the gaming rig and see what happens. Okay, uh, we're gonna boot into Pop! OS and start the installation process. Just gonna go through and discover all my hardware first and uh, do its thing. So I just saw a Logitech keypad. I'm pretty sure I saw my Apple keyboard there for a moment. Uh, but it's going pretty quickly. So I think we're off to a good start right now. Uh, hoping for no, no holdups or hiccups. All right, we, here we are at the installer. Just literally choosing like my language. It's gonna ask me like 10 times what language I want. 
Okay, I formatted the drive I want to use, but but now uh, Pop! OS isn't working, or the installer isn't working. All right, let's uh, let's just reboot and get back into the operating system. <laughs> uh, it's it's always something, man. <laughs> always something. All right, I'm just gonna skip ahead through the actual installation of Pop! OS, and we'll jump we'll jump to the part where I'm act hopefully playing, actually playing. I don't know. Okay, so I just got through the final parts of getting Pop! OS in installed, so basically just asking, like, well, time zone questions, uh, location services, thing like that. So we're going to see if, yep, we're on NVIDIA driver version 525.78.01. Uh, so it has installed my graphics drivers for me, thank God. And yeah, it looks like everything's being detected graphics-wise appropriately. Uh, so here's my NVIDIA GTX, RT, or I'm sorry, RTX 4090. It's been detected. It sees everything right, so I think we're good there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get OBS installed and Steam installed and all that stuff. Here are all the in-game settings. I'm just going to show you guys on screen and uh, I'll just let you watch me filter through there and you can pause the video anytime you like while we're going through these settings. Catch up with you in a second. All right, results are in. So overall, very good experience, as you'll see on screen. Um, frame rates are good. Could be better, but not bad by any means. Seeing uh, as maybe as low as 80, but as high as 119-ish frames per second. GPU utilization looks great. I'll just let the game kind of play here a little bit so you can... Um, see what it was like for me in this one instance and um, gauge the quality of it. And uh, yeah, I guess this is a good place to end the video. So uh, with all that being said, I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.
Eliasen. He will be meat for those in the wilderness. Thank you, Isaac. Come back inside. We should talk. deck with some other survivors. He said they were building an SOS beacon. Did they finish it? He said it was nearly done, but I haven't heard from him in a while. I can't leave yet. I need to make sure the air is safe to breathe, but if you can find that SOS beacon, call for rescue. I will. Mining deck. Okay, got it. And if I meet Jacob? Tell him. I'll find him. He's all I want to see. An SOS beacon. Someone jettisoned all the others. Isaac, there's a shortcut to the mining deck. Near Cross's workstation. I'll get it open. Goddamn. We might actually get out of this nightmare. 